Hello everyone, the name is Jaja Horace. Uh, everyone kind of calls me Magic because I started a company called Magic Fingers International and that's that. It's Kellen, and today on Diversified Game, I have some J magic for you. Yes, and it is all good, and it is authentic chocolate, black, Sierra Leone, Freetown. Give the game for a woman who puts a lot of time into her art. J tell us, what got you into the, the arts, the creative side, you know, and why? What is your why for being an artiste? It's so easy. I've always loved to entertain. And I love being entertained, so I think I love to entertain more, so. Mm, so you're more of a giver than a receiver, do you think? I think so. Okay, where does that come from? Like, what, what, what makes you want to give, give, give instead of being one of the many takers out there in the world? I think it's just in my nature, and no matter how hard I try, I can't change that. Ah, now people hear artists and they say, what type of art? I've seen you, your photos are art, your music is art, but give the people the rundown on what type of artist and how many things that you do do in the uh, creative arts. Wow. Uh, well, in the future, maybe the near future, uh, I'd like to be seen and recognized as a uh, entertainment executive to say the least because I love to support talent and especially young professionals okay and why young professionals um, is that because you didn't feel maybe that next generation the last generation well, supported you is, you know it's, it's like the underdogs kind of thing mm -hmm. Like someone has to speak for them. Someone has to be that voice. So it's basically kind of the, the advocacy, basically. Okay. And mainly that, and I love to promote talents. And I love to promote myself for a change, so, yeah. Because oh. when you give and you don't get anything back at some point, you know. It gets old, it gets tired. It's boring. <laughs> now, what do you think your first love of the arts was? Was it the painting? Was it the music? Wow. It was movies. Mm. Definitely the movies. Tell us about you and your movie, you know, the production, the writing that you've already done. Um, I love writing. I've done a lot of writing. And I've done a, quite a bit of acting as well. But I love to produce. I like to put my ideas out there and see how well I could publish and then promote one or two young people. Just keeping it okay. simple. And, and where can people find your work? So they say, okay, hold on, I see her Instagram. It's off the chain. She puts a lot of time. Where can they find some of those projects? On YouTube, definitely. If you check for Jaja Horace, that's J with a double A, J E H O Race R A C E. Definitely. And I have you, a lot to offer. And you guys, links will be in the description box. So you make sure that you look at whether you are watching, you're listening on iTunes, or on our new outlet in home african young voices radio we thank you for the opportunity to be heard right here in salon now music is a tough business you have to put so much into the studio time the video before anybody before you even see one cobble return 
Talk about that journey and just what you've learned. The music. I have never ventured into music on my own, like being in the forefront. I used to be that kind of person who would do other artists' makeup or their costumes. Like going through the studios, that journey, doing it on my own, I had to make so many mistakes before I had to learn the right way. So it's been quite a challenge. Yeah, I hope they love the portfolio that I'm putting together. You have to love it. You have no choice. No choice, yeah, you gotta speak that. Now, you know, music performing in front of the camera is one thing, but do you get any high out of performing on stage? Well, I was a dancer back in the day, so as far as the music goes, if I were to win an award, if I don't win anything, just best performing artist, that is so me. The costumes, the, the choreography, that was who I was back in the day. So doing it for me, for a change, the whole props and set design, if I put all of this experience together, darling, watch out. What, what's the ultimate like goal? If you could just write your own life story of where you want to go, how far, where would you want to go? How far? I want a whole reality show, darling. Uh, I, it doesn't hurt to be ambitious. I want my own reality show, definitely. Well, would it get, don't give us too much, but what would make yours just a little different than what we see maybe on a Big Brother or other networks? What would make yours that Jaja -ja magic? Uh, first of all, the originality, definitely, certainly. Just the fact that it's me, it's all me. It's my life, it's my truth. You know, it's not adding sugar and spice creating a script you know darling just the reality the rawness everything i can bet you that i'm quite interesting and i have quite an interesting story to tell well, there's more than meets the eye so man. i challenge you to follow follow and if they want a book and say, okay, we want to see this. You say you can paint. You say you can dance. Okay, let's collaborate. Let's do something. What is the booking process for you? Because, you know, some people, they like, you say, hey, book me. They have no idea because they weren't ready for that part of the business. So if you want to be booked, where can they go to? Well, you can reach out to me on Instagram or on Messenger, Facebook. Yeah. Or you could reach out on YouTube, I guess. Tell the people that are listening, maybe there's a um, young woman out there and she says, ah, for me to get to the top, I have to deal with these old paws. They want me to just smile and be something that I'm not. They want me to, you know, be uncomfortable are comfortable in a comfortable, uncomfortable situation, what are some tips you can give the women out there? You know, we have the Me Too movement, and women really have a choice now. You have women saying, no, I choose to have multiple partners. I choose when I wanna have something, whether they're married or single. You can't tell me anymore like you told my mother. We're taking our power back. But what would you tell a woman who feels like she has to sleep her way to the top? Dollar, if that's your truth, I get it but leave your truth. I live my truth, you feel me? I do what makes me comfortable. I dress for comfort. Sometimes you'll see me and you think I don't have a mirror, you feel me? So just do you. Don't try to copy anybody else. You don't have to do anything extra to get to the top. Believe in yourself. And then you, you should have a strategy work towards your goal be goal oriented that's all i can say for now just to live your truth now you're one of the few um artists that has also done work in other countries like nigeria where there's you know 20 million people in lagos alone how have you made yourself stand out how did you you know even 
make that venture out? How, you know, give the people some of the, the path, because there's somebody right now who wants to go to Lagos, Abuja, Victoria Island, Lakey Island, but they say, who do I know? I don't know anyone. How can I get there? When you get there, if you eventually get there, think exposure. Think contacts. Put yourself out there, as in go to events, meet people, introduce yourself. Be be that person. Be a go-getter, you feel me? That's how I did it. And I have a lot of friends. High, low, middle places. I do have a lot of friends. And you know, it's not a good thing to mention dates or anything. Well, on the 17th of December, 2021, I definitely won an award in Nigeria, Best Resilience Artist of the Year. So it's not gonna be a story you're gonna see in my portfolio on my page. Just a short trip and I could make that impact. So be a go-getter, introduce yourself, don't hesitate to go to events, meet these people. You know, sometimes I tell them I can offer such and such services, like I could provide models or anything. If I can't do, do it directly, I could subcontract, but I put my foot in that door. That's who I am. So maybe it'll work for you. I could only live my truth and speak my truth. So do you. And Whatever so, works for you. And so if there is someone out there and they say, okay, well, I like where you're going with this. Do you ever mentor or bring team members in so they can, you know, get some of that game that you have and then also work with you kind of you know as a mentee uh, right now I'm looking for helpers and when I say that I don't just mean financially like people that could contribute people that can see my dream or maybe see my see me like half as I see myself before me I do have a vision and if I have people that could connect or share that vision, I'm all for it. I have worked with a lot of people in the past and it didn't always end well. So definitely right now I'm looking for my own support system. Wherever I am, whoever's life I'm in, I always try to be that person, a contributor. So right now, you being a contributor is a requirement. If if you can't contribute positively, no, we can't be friends. So I, I love that. Now let's have a, a moment where it's a teachable moment for everybody. When we talk about how women are treated in this industry, are they treated with respect? You know, in let's just, all of West Africa, have things changed where women can you know walk in based on the merit of their talent? and not necessarily having to what I call kiss the ring. Um, you know, how, how do you see it? Well, the people who invented all these parables, I believe they were no fools. So that saying that goes that respect is reciprocal. I think it's always going to stand. Even when I die, when I pass on my grandchildren, respect is reciprocal. It's always going to stand. So first of all, you have to respect yourself. How you, you love yourself and how you treat yourself is how you teach others to love and respect you. So it starts with you, basically, and obviously how you carry yourself or address people, darling. It is very important. The way how you communicate, your choice of words, your body language, every other thing respect when you respect yourself and respect others i think it will go a long way humility just be a little bit humble be humble it takes nothing away from you in the words of kendrick lamar be humble now the future is so bright the best is yet to come what is a community give back that you are doing or that you would like to do in the future Say that again. A community give back that you are doing or that you would like to do in the future. Oh, the community give back. Oh, 
that started way back not be today not be today i said it before and i'm gonna say it again i always believe in talents young people young professionals i think i'm all for it i'm always gonna be for it i have tried my best in my own capacity to promote other people so you get and that's never gonna change that's never going to change and in the near future definitely I'd like to see how I could groom a bigger set of people compared to what I've been doing in the past you know I do have a passion especially towards young men yeah okay. you know I think there, there are a lot of people talking for females all these female stuff what are they called again? Uh, feminists. Feminists, yeah. I yeah, think we yeah, have yeah. a lot of those, so... Okay, so you're actually looking at the young men. And I can feel that because I've, I've mentored, I've worked with, and the young men, you know, I'll say for America, they can't get married to somebody. There's no, like, either you're good or you, you're not. You know, sometimes women can, you can get married to someone if that's your last resort. But uh, a young man, especially if he's not making a lot of money, it's difficult. The choices are slim. Now, I do know there's some guys out there, and you're doing your thing at 11 at night to 1 a.m., and you feel like that's enough. But even that gets old for long term, like to connect with somebody for long term and be there mentally where you're there emotionally. You know, we all have those friends where in certain situations we're going to call them, and then you have those friends in certain situations you'll never call them because they don't have compassion, right? So, yeah, so you say, oh, no, I can't tell this person because they're just going to tell me how stupid I was or how they told me, even though they never said nothing at all. But um, I love that. I love that. For 2022, and it's right around the corner, What? give us just a hint of what is going to come out that, you know, we can see from you. Well, first of all, to every entertainer out there. I think you have to be a king in your place before you can spark somewhere else. If you can spark a change in your community, your country, you can make that much more noise anywhere else. So that's my mission. Sierra Leone, Liberia, Guinea, maybe Nigeria, then we could take over the world. Oh man, with that, you guys have got the game. We're just talking about 2022 and I'm talking about taking it. It's okay to be ambitious. It's okay. Dream big, dream big. You guys have got the game. Make sure you like this. Make sure you connect. Make sure you check the links in the description and that you follow, follow, follow. follow. It will change somebody's life. Be blessed. Chat. All the chat, the my chats, most of these people, they must still follow back up. They must still follow, you feel me? So don't look at the haters. What I have to say is, chata chata silla fala baka. And the magic with the logic, ta 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 ha ta. It don't matter if my lip are red or black. I'm so chronic as a chronic and the chronic and the chronic. I think I'm always gonna be a chronic. You feel me? I don't really like to break the rules, but. You know, it's just something. This one stubborn little voice. Chronix. You better edit this. You better. So I'm promoting this song titled Chronic. And for the intro, it's like to all of my fighters. Survivors, so called rejects and failures. If you will fly on top, as in you overcome, then you're a chronic. So I'm always be a chronic, you feel me? And all the chat that my chat that must still go follow back up. So I'm that stubborn pastor picking with the piercing and the tattoo. Hi, 
guys, I'm Kai Gabiam from the Diaspora channel, a lover of Africa. If you love Africa as well, and you would love to visit one day or to relocate to Africa, there is a course out there for you. And this course is my first trip to Africa, a course well put together by a seasoned traveler, Kellen Cash Coleman. This course is designed to prepare you to travel better, which will save you both time and money. And the great news is this course costs only $20, guys. It can't get any better. Go right now and enroll to this course at www.diversifygame.com. Don't miss out. Yeah.